Hey everyone, welcome to this third tutorial video wrapping up the vehicle design concept. Uh, in this video I'm adding some details uh, and having some fun, so let's get started. You can see here I'm wrapping some details around the tube, paying attention to contours and, and perspective. Uh, all the way through I'm trying to keep an eye on perspective, keep an eye on the, the way that things form uh, around the forms, the contours of the forms. Okay. Um, so here, right underneath uh, the, the bridge or the cockpit area, if you will, um, I want to put in a, a lot of detail. Um, just kind of fill this area up uh, with with little uh, components. And the idea behind that is, is something called the 70-30 rule. And essentially what that states is that uh, you want to leave like 70% of your design um, easy on the eyes, you know, so lots of, of open areas and then 30% of it is where your details at. So, and, and you want to break those up in different places as well. And by doing that, people's uh, eyes will focus in on this detail for a while and then relax as they travel along to the next pocket of detail. And it just makes for a well-balanced design. If you have too much uh, detail, then it just starts to strain the eyes and look too busy and it's just not as comfortable of a design. So you can see there I've added quite a bit. Now I'm working on this back turbine. And again, notice I'm paying attention to the contours. And I know I want to put some grooves in here, so I'm kind of experimenting with how to break that up. Watch here how I put a dot to represent the division. I'm kind of thinking of it like a pie, and I'm making that little dot and then filling it in. All right, another thing I like to do, which I'll do more of as we get closer to this, uh, the end of this, is uh, what I call spotting blacks. It's a technique that's used in comic books a lot, but essentially um, in areas that fall into shadow or that are uh, the bottom of things, I'm adding more blacks, so a thicker black line. And just like the 70-30 rule, this gives your eye places to dance around the design. Rather than have every line be exactly the same, you know, width. So it's important, a uh, nice little way to, to add some intrigue to your design. <clears throat> Again, I'm adding some, some lines at the bottom of things, trying to get that weight uh, on the bottom side. Over here, I'm going to jump into. Uh, the details of this other turbine. Again, notice how I'm breaking it up. Dot, boom, boom. Dot, boom, boom. Now I've got the four division and now I'm just dividing the in-betweens by two. Dot, dot, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Dot, dot, boom, 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 boom. All right. Also notice that I'm following the contours of that cone, trying to curve around the edges, give it more realistic feel. Not just straight. If I drew straight, the front of that turbine would look straight. I'm going to turn off my perspective grid, keeping it clean. I don't really need that anymore. All right, and at this point, you just want to have fun, right? You want to, you know, just start imagining things. Now, this is something here that's really handy with Photoshop, and that is that I felt like that leg was a little tweaked. Just lasso it up and, and adjust it. Uh, really fun and an easy way to fix things in Photoshop. All right, you'll notice here that I'm flipping the image back and forth. Another great tool that Photoshop offers that uh, if you're going to do this on a piece of paper, you can always hold it up to a mirror, but flipping it is a great way to see if things are not quite lining up right because your eye gets used to seeing things one way. When you flip it, you sometimes see things you never thought of before. Okay. All right, so I'm going to add in some more details. You'll notice that my pen kind of dances around the page a little bit because Sometimes I'm just trying to ghost in the line, find out where I want to draw. And I do this rather than draw and then hit control Z or undo or draw and erase. Um, instead, I'm just kind of ghosting over an area and seeing the line in my mind saying, well, what if I put this here? 
without actually drawing the line. Okay, put some antennas on there. Got to have connection, you know, with the, the big mothership that it's going to dock into later. Um, going back in, adding some more spot blacks. A little more details here and there. Again, I keep looking at this and saying, okay, what, how, how does this feel? Does it feel balanced? All right, so now I'm starting to add a lot of panels in because I'm thinking about this thing being constructed and manufactured, you know, in a plant of some kind, just the same way that our vehicles roll out today. Um, unless you're designing a really alien ship that everything's sleek and streamlined, chances are your ship is going to have access panels and bolts and things like that. So you got to think about how this thing might be constructed. And a great way to do that is to look at how real things are constructed. And when you look at a jet engine plane, you'll notice that there are panels on there. Even though they've been made as smooth and streamlined as possible, they're still panels. All right, what I just did there with the windows is another way to add balance to your design by adding in those spot blacks on the windows, giving your eyes another place to land on, and then cruise over to the next section of design. Drawing in another access panel here. Again, just having some fun with it. Where can I add this? I feel like the wings need some extra work. Um, so again, I'm ghosting in some lines. How does this look? All right. Uh, there's a little happy accident right underneath that wing that I'm going to do right coming up. Where is it at? Right there. Right, I snapped that line and my brush actually skipped a beat. And then I thought, well, that would be a great place to add another panel in. So I just drew it in. Um, and little happy accidents like that are always fun. All right, so here I am adding some more detail to this pod, which I kind of see as maybe even an escape pod of some kind. Um, adding some more panels around the edges. This panel I'm doing now kind of adds to the dimension of the ship. It lets you know how it's folding around that corner. Um, okay, looks like I'm just about done with this design, just kind of Touching up things here and there, adding a few more blacks, little, little bits a piece here and there. Um, so again, I look forward to seeing what you guys have designed when you're designing your stuff over this uh, this next project. You know, just have fun with it. Try to keep it clean. Think about you know how things work and function, and, and get in there and, and just have some fun with it. All right. Hope you guys found this helpful and enjoyable and I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with.